I definitely feel a relief, um, just especially with the tournament that we're in right now. There's there's some big things to focus on, and yeah, it's just nice to get it out of the way in the opening game. So now that we can focus on getting better, improving, and qualifying for the Olympics. So before the game, Dree told me she's got me. So uh, I just saw Dree breaking down the right side, and she, yeah, she she saw me cross it perfectly and all I could think of is just don't miss the net but luckily I didn't <laughs> like honestly it's a massive privilege um, to be a part of this uh, it is history created right in front of your eyes um, and something I'm a, like a, a little, tiny little part of and it's just such a privilege and I'm so happy for Zink. Um I know it's uh, something that's been going on maybe not in Zinke's mind but there's so much talk from the outside from from you guys and all of a sudden you you know building this pressure on yourself and then you know having the release uh, on this day um, that's just great it's um, yeah I'm so happy for it um, and proud it's a moment that me personally and also the players recognize for the historical moment it is for women's football and I would be remiss to say if uh, there's not a little bit of me that will remember that forever for maybe the opposite reason, right, than the, maybe she will. But uh, it's, it's remarkable. I'm proud of her. I'm proud of what she's been able to do. I'm proud of the precedence she's set. And as you look at the youth that's on our team, and for example, we had a player on the bench, uh, Kayla Gutenberg. She's 14 years old. Uh, when she was born, Christine Sinclair had 53 goals already internationally. Some professional footballers at Christine's level don't even get to 53 goals. Right? So when you put that in perspective and you hope that the young players from our team remember that moment, but then maybe they also strive to be that player in the next time. Right? So.